All right, guys, we're going to open up Firefox here or any browser, and then you're going to go ahead and type in the browser, h or support.hp. And then once you get to the support page, you're going to type in the, the bar up top, or sorry, no, right, right here. And you're going to type uh, your model number. So if it's like TG01-0040 or tg one you know, 2167Z. Uh, there is a number on the bottom of the PC. And then if it doesn't work, you can also type it in the bar up at the top here. Uh, so that's if it just comes up with nothing here, like it doesn't show a PC. But you're going to go ahead and hit software and drivers. And then you're going to hit all drivers and click on the BIOS plus button. And then you're going to try to go for the top revision. So if you see like revision 20, 21, you want to go for, you know, the highest numbered revision right here. And then go ahead and hit download. And it's going to download it to your PC. It's going to ask you, you know, some info. And it should download. All right. So the cool thing about this thing right here is you can literally run it from the desktop. And it's going to go ahead and update your BIOS. You're just going to have to go through some menus here. Hit next. Hit I accept. Hit next again. Of course, the place it's going to save doesn't really matter. And there we go. Now it's gonna. Now that it's installed, it's gonna ask you how you want to update it. Do you want to use a USB? Do you want to do it from the actual EXE? The easiest way is just to do it from the EXE. Hit next, and then it should start to do its thing. It's gonna uh, make sure you don't lose power. Make sure you, there's it's not storming out. You know, there's no way your computer can lose power because if this fails, it could totally nuke your bio system. It's a very easy thing to do, but it's just, you know, something you want to, just an FYI for you out there. Of course, it's going to go through. You're going to hit restart. Uh, one thing I will mention, if you hit escape while it's booting, you can get into the firmware menu and it is going to restart your computer. All right, now that we are into the HP, HP bio setup, it should automatically just start updating the BIOS right here. And it's gonna have a progress bar. I kind of I'm gonna speed the film up here, so we're not sitting here watching this for days. All right, guys, it's about done. Uh, the progress should hit 100%. And once it does that, it is gonna jump over to verifying the new BIOS image to double check to make sure that there's no problems with what it just installed. Because if there's corruption in there or it didn't install correctly, uh, your computer will no longer work. So it's double checking it. Of course, it's going to hit compute. You're going to hit continue setup right here, and it is, or it's just going to count down and restart your computer for you. So whatever you choose here, tomato tomato, both work. All right, now it's going to actually install the BIOS. It's going to go through another setting where it's taking the the uh, image and actually writing it to the BIOS now. Before it was just preparing the image. Now it's writing the image to your BIOS. All right, guys, now that the image is almost written, there we go, it's written. Now we are going to be booting back into Windows. And then I just wanted to show you guys that Windows is running. With it, hurry up and get in here. All right, we're going to log into Windows quick just to show that everything is hunky-dory. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Any questions, concerns, comments, just uh, go ahead and throw them down in the comment section down below. I usually get back to people within a day or two. Um, any other concerns, questions, guys, throw them down in the comment section, and I will try to get back to you guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys, it's Tech Knitwood here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.